Scott Weaver, Wade Day, and Justin Hobgood. Outlaw at third place. Godley Chapman and the number six, Jason York, the Rocket. Uh, Steve Burns, that Rocket looks like uh, they're having a little trouble getting the fuse lit. Well, Mike, remember, he spent a time at the front of the pack, but these guys don't have much experience at all crashing on a big track like this. They mainly race on foot tracks. His spotter has been doing a terrific job of telling him who's in front of him, who's behind him, and where he should ride. So the Reedsville Rocket is trying to stay connected to the front of this pack. Well, Steve, of course, as we all know, spotters at any racetrack, but in particular Daytona, is so important. I mean, it's that extra set of eyes and feel for that driver and uh, you know you've got to have an experienced spotter up there no matter what your experience level is driving that race car that 10 car breakaway at the front has now split in half two groups of five apiece because of the side-by-side -side racing at fifth place now the four of eric wilson continues his climb from 37th on the grid he just came by in 14th position. Wilson is thirsty. Car carries number four. Yep. That's kind of a unique way they've got that kind of blended in because of his sponsor. The way it kind of works is think about it, thirsty for old Milwaukee life. That's pretty ingenious. Yes, it is. Tied it right in with that sponsorship. You know, Jeff, you and I talked to Eric this morning. Of course, he was telling us about being disqualified, how he had that high and that low. But he finished eighth last year. But that was bittersweet because he definitely had those three. dominant cars. Cornwall, two cars around. Oh, a hard hit from the 29 of Tony Billings. And there is Billings' revelator coming to rest. All torn up. That was a hard hit. Caution, of course, is out. And I'm not sure of the car that he hit. Look at Billings' car won't even rest on four wheels. That's like how heavily it. damaged it was in the front. You know, say, there it like is. It's the right front tire off the max speed car. It looks like it got stuck up underneath the Billings' car as it came down off the racetrack. Bill Clevenger took a hard hit first at the wall and then sliding back down the track from the 29 of Billings. Now, even though these cars are smaller, as you see the driver Billings moving around inside, than Nextel Cup or the Bush Series cars, the safety requirements are every bit as stringent. Yes, they're required to wear head and neck restraints, onboard fire extinguishers, everything else. You see the safety workers there show up and uh, some damage right there on the 23 car. That's Danny Keaton's car. Got the left front knocked in a little bit. It's like he let him bring it down to pit road, but he should be able to make repairs and get back in this fray. Yeah, that bullet is somewhat spent. Kind of like a dud right now. That's the 29 of Billings. The Revelator, interesting story on the name of that car, Jeff. Yeah, Tony Billings told me this morning that uh, the way he came up with the name of this uh, particular car was out of the Bible. It's a passage out of the Bibles, and uh, this is where he came up with it. Hopefully everything's okay with Tony. Let's take a look and see what happened here. It's Eric Wilson right there. He's coming through. Whoop. Just missed Just it. Just missed it. And that boy, that was a hard hit right there. But yeah, that was one of Eric Wilson's big fears is starting back in the back. Yes, it was. There you see him sliding down the racetrack. In the 29 car, he was all the way on the apron, but of course the the other car, Clevenger's car, was just continuing to come down the banking. And probably what happened there to Tony Billings is a rookie here. So whenever he saw the guys at the bottom, he just went with them, and there was no place to go. It's important to note that when the caution comes out, racing ceases, just like in Nextel Cup. They do not race back to the flag. But they do get the free pass. Of course, at this point in the race, we do not have no one that is a lap down. We're on lap 10. So caution is out at lap 10 for Bill Clevenger's crash in turn three. He's then collected by Tony Billings.